What's up everybody, my name is Tony and I'm here with another Wolfram Guide video. In this video we will be looking at Umbral Ash hybrid builds or different abilities you guys can use with Ash. So there's not many abilities you guys can use with Ash because Ash is all about finishers and basically takedowns and such. So there's only a few abil abilities out there that might work with Ash. But regardless of that, I think I got a good list for you guys. And some of the abilities might be dumb, might be great, might be nice. But also I'm also going to feature the Rakto family builds as well. They all have ribbons. And keep in mind that I do have timestamps, so for those that don't give a shit about Rekta, just look at the timestamps to know or to, to go or skip uh, to your to the one you're looking for, for the content you're looking for actually. So let's take a look at the weapons really quick before we get into Ash and, and the builds and such. So the Rekta Sternoids, appearance. I have the Cusa Bow skin here. Attachments would be the Prisma Arrows. The build. I got two builds, so the one is the ribbon version with 130 to CC, reload speed, and multi shots. With this, I do 33% status with viral and vigilance supplies for the excess mod for the extra critical chance. Pretty straightforward build. Second build, I will sh I would uh, show you guys the build for this. Now, for this one, it's a little bit different, but with this, um, make sure you guys replace corrosive with viral. I cannot form on the uh, cryo in here because I don't want to and I can't because it's gonna ruin this build so uh, first off I'm just gonna say that when it comes to this build I'm just gonna say I think I like where it is right now I don't use hunting munitions at all and with this this should be okay but for this one I think you guys should put in prime cryo rounds because no ribbons of course and just replace uh, prime cryo rounds with, with Stormbringer and you should be okay for the second weapon back to Ballistica let's take a look at appearance I got the Taku skin here all right, so into the builds, I got two builds, like the first build, like the first weapon. I got deep freeze here. I'm not really sure if this polarity came with the weapon, but if it does, deep freeze. If not, then replace deep freeze with something different. Maybe a status 60-60 status chance mod. I have a ribbon here with 111 to multi shots, 84 to critical damage, and critical chance at 137. With the torrents, as you round, so you got the uh, all the weapons here. So again, you guys can replace deep freeze with prime heated charge if you guys want to. It's up to you. Steady hands for the recoil because this weapon has a lot of recoil. Without the ribbon, this is what it looks like. Rakta Dark Dagger. Only got one build. Let's take a look at the appearance real fast. Tank Dagger Skin. Attachments. Parasugatra. And holster style is on the standard holster. So basically it's a standard version. Onto the build. I got one build here. Blood Rush, Condition Overload, Orchid Shatter, Berserker, and 60 City Status Chance mods. No Riven because this Riven is not made for this build, obviously. Alright, so I, I recommend not getting a Riven, by the way, you guys. Um, when it comes to Rivens, it's at two disposition. Alright, so on to the build for Ash. I got two builds. Now, on my old video of Ash, which is the Umbro version of it, or the very old version, actually. Uh, this is this build is basically an improvement over that old video, so I won't link that video. But if you guys have seen that video, uh, prepare to at least uh, remake your Ash. So this also includes the Dark Dagger and, well, yeah, both of these builds too. Alright, so I got Arcan Energize, Arcan Trickery. Arcan Energize, you guys can replace with Arcan Ultimatum if you guys don't have issues with energy. Otherwise, keep the Energize. Because Arc and Arc Ultimatum will help you stay alive, but the reason why I don't use this is because you'll be invisible the most of the time with three reasons. Smoke Screen, Arc and Trickery, Max Rank, you get invisible for 30 seconds, and one of my Kubros, which I will not go over the build, but I'm just going to show you guys the Kubros uh, special mod here. It allows the cloaking on itself and its uh, master, which is basically me. Okay, so for this build, this is the Bladestorm build. With this, I have 11,000 damage, bonus combo hits, of course, from the augment, which is a must-have. I recommend you guys getting this because Bladestorm only cares about combo multiplier, combo duration, and combo count chance from your melee weapons. Otherwise, every, anything else from your melee weapon it doesn't, it doesn't really give a shit about. So I will show you guys a build on that very soon on the melee weapon. When it comes to the mods, usually people tend to have lower duration because, well, you don't need duration. Well, for silence... Uh, you kind of need duration. 38 seconds is good enough to kill whatever you got to kill. With finisher damage at 1,000%, that's actually pretty insane. So I'm going to show you guys the damage very soon. Uh, but the mods here is straight up forward. Savage Silence in here, you got to have this. Otherwise, no Savage Silence, you won't get the uh, finisher damage. 
percentage. For the weapon or the melee weapon on the blade storm, this is what I have. So I have a ribbon for this. If you guys don't have a ribbon, that is totally okay. You guys don't need a ribbon. Replace the ribbon with something different. I don't think there is a spot here for replacing the ribbon. Uh, you guys could put, yeah, you, could, you guys could put uh, Andrew Channel if you guys want. I think that's kind of stupid. Uh, green and black should be okay. I mean, you do take out your weapon sometimes, so might as well. Uh, but otherwise, you know, there's not many mods to put up to replace that. Prime Fury, if you guys want to, or you guys can replace it with Healing Return. So what this is is basically. Since you guys don't really do damage, but you guys can proc status though, so puncture slash radiation. You guys can proc that and still get some HP back if you guys need some survivability. So you guys can replace it with this if you guys want to. It's up to you. Otherwise, I can't think of any other mods here that can replace the ribbon. But with this ribbon, I have 127, I mean 121 to melee damage, which is nothing on this build. Because again, Blaze Storm does not give a shit about your melee damage or status, dam status damage or status proc chance, whatever. All it cares about is combo. That's why I have additional combo count chance here. Initial combo, combo duration, All right? And I have 16 initial combo right here. Finisher damage it does not give a shit about. So even though it gives a shit about finisher damage on Banshee, which is kind of strange, it does not care about finisher damage on your melee weapon. Fatal teleport. So I have the same thing: arc and trickery, arc and energize with silence again. This time I just swap out the fatal or the other augment for a fatal teleport. Otherwise, everything else is exactly the same. Now when it comes to Steel Charge, uh, Blaze Storm does somewhat like Steel Charge for some reason, even though it does 60% of 60 melee damage or something like that, so I think it cares about that, so I'll put this in. Otherwise, Growing Power, if you guys don't want to do that, you guys can put Growing Power in. Uh, I'm not sure the percentage on the Silence will be great or not, but again, just I think Steel Charge is better for more mod capacity. Uh, of course, you do need to pol polarize more if you guys are not going to be using Steel Charge. Correction Drift, you guys can replace this with Power Drift. And for Prime Flow, if you guys don't really need that much energy, which I recommend getting Prime Flow on, you guys can replace this with Fleet and Expertise or Constitution for more duration. But otherwise, Prime Flow is what I recommend here. This goes for Fatal Teleport as well. Alright, so for the build on the Fatal Teleport for the Wrecked of Dark Dagger, this is what it looks like. Finishing damage uh, for both of these. And then you got the average attack uh, mods here. Fury, Fury, Fever Strike, Pressure Points, 60-60s, and Gleaming Blights, because why the fuck not, right? We will test out the Blade Storm with Corrupted Heavy Gunners. Level 170, of course, because why the fuck not? I'm going to test it out without silence first, so you guys can see the damage without silence. So when you start off, you get a 4x multiplier with Riven, 3x without Riven, of course. And let's go with the fatal with the blade storm actually. So let's go with this guy. Alright, so that's what I said. I'm gonna build the multiplier now. Okay, so 12x is ready instantly. That's that's how instant it is. So let's go for this one right here. Four thousand, yep, yeah, there it is. Oof. Alright, let's go with silence now. So this is with silence. The range is pretty decent, it's 20 meters, not bad. Try it again. Hopefully you guys saw that. For 161,000 true damage, you guys. So if you guys don't know what true damage is, basically, it ignores armor, and I think alloys. Uh, it ignores armor, but it doesn't ignore shields though, so it does it has to go through shields in order to uh, do its thing, but still, it still does a lot of damage, even against shields. Alright, that's enough of that blade storm. So that's how much damage it is. 400,000. Not bad. It's not bad. Not bad at all. I'm going to show you guys the Fatal Teleport build, which I know you guys absolutely love and probably want to use, but I think blade storm is underlooked or overlooked, I would say. And I think blade storm can make, can be actually, you know, shine in this uh, uh, hybrid build here. So I'm going to show you guys without the silence. Now, the Finishers on Fatal Teleport doesn't doesn't uh, doesn't really give a shit about combos. So combo chance, combo multiplier doesn't really care. Damage is still the same. Try it again. All right, so that's two hundred thousand. What about silence? Now there's a reason why I don't have that crit and shit. So I'm gonna show you guys why. Not not also for the low crit chance and, and multiplier, but check this out. Silence. Hopefully you guys saw that. Let me do it again. 
I'll probably finish all the enemies so you guys can see a clear number. See that? You guys see that number? Hopefully you guys saw that number. Three million. Just straight up three million. You guys can instantly kill anything. So basically nothing can stop you guys with this build. Uh, obviously you can just instant kill everything. Okay, so that is all the demonstrations. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the gameplay demo of Bladestorm. Not Fatal Teleport because I think Fatal Teleport, you guys already know how, how it works. But Bladestorm, how, how effective it is now with the hybrid builds and such. Also going to talk about different other abilities you guys can possibly use if you guys don't like silence. For instance, Radio Blind. I'll give you the math, the numbers, all the other stuff uh, as much as possible for you guys so you guys can determine what you guys want. So really quick, I want to say that when it comes to the melee weapons for both builds, for Blade Storm, you guys want to make sure that uh, you guys get yourself a Venka Prime instead of like the Dark Dagger because of the combo multiplier is at 13 instead of 12. Otherwise, for Fatal Teleport, uh, for that one, you just could use whatever weapons you guys want. Hammers is what I recommend. You guys don't absolutely have to use the Dark Dagger. So besides Savory Sentence with the finisher damage, Radiant Finish also has the exact same damage as Banshee's Savagery Silence, but the only difference between these two is that the Finish has 25 meters and 19 seconds of duration, while Silence is 20 meters and 38 seconds of duration. The next ability I think is also pretty good on Ash is the Endless Lullaby or Lull. So what this does is basically sleeps enemies in a radius or around you, and with that, enemies are opened up to finishers. And there's no cooldown between the low activations when you guys use Endless Lullaby. The wave duration is 6 seconds while the sleep duration is 32 seconds. And finally, the last ability is Garo's Spectral Rage or the Spectral Siphon for the Augment in particular. Because if enemies are killed within the radius of Spectral Siphon, they drop energy at a 50% chance. Which in return gives you guys infinite energy as Ash. So you guys can use Bladestorm like constantly and without have to worry about energy that much. So that is it with this video. Hopefully you guys enjoy this video. Hopefully this video helps you guys a little bit on Ash's ability synergies in, with other Warframes. Even though there's only a few here, I think the Savage Sense is the best for Ash. If you guys enjoyed this video, give it a like. Subscribe to support my channel. Thank you guys for watching. Until next time, peace out.